What's up, everybody? Uh, Charles Johnson here, lead trainer and technical engineer at LinkSpring. And we are just closing out uh, the year and ready to uh, get into 2025. So I'm going to do a quick uh, two-parter here. Uh, the second one is definitely going to take a little bit longer. Uh, but the first one is about a, uh, a BQL query in which we need to find uh, devices that are down. So I had a student email me and said, "Hey Charles, I want to I want to find um I want to find backnet devices across my backnet network uh that are uh that either are either down or in fault. But I don't know how to go about it." So, uh I uh, coordinated some stuff with them, but I kind of just want to show you uh how to do this. And so if you're not familiar with BQL queries, uh, I suggest you go to uh, the YouTube channel uh, for LinkSpring, where you're going to see that I have uh, a two-part series on BQL and uh, a, a bunch of different queries. So uh, let's go ahead and show you a, a few things uh, about this specific query here. And this doesn't just have to be for BACnet. This could be LAW and Modbus. doesn't really matter uh, the device here as long as you know where to find uh, the device. So. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to open up an ORD. And to open up an ORD, uh, I can go to File, Open, an ORD. Or I can actually just hit, uh, you know, Control L uh, wherever I am. And so here, uh, with Control L, you already see that uh, this has an ORD in here because I've already clicked on uh, something here. But let's go ahead and get rid of. Uh, the drivers slash backnet, and let's start with this part here of the uh, of the query. And so now I'm actually going to do uh, a BQL uh, select. And so to do that, I need my pipe, and that's what it is. That straight line is actually called a pipe. And then BQL colon, uh, and then we're going to do select. And this is where we're going to choose some specific properties. And the first property we want to choose is the name. And you could do display name if you want, but I usually choose name. And so this name is going to be as a device name, uh, comma. Then I'm going to choose the slot path uh, as a path here. And let me go ahead and expand this all the way so you can see the entire path. And then I'm going to select status as status. So what's going to happen is you're going to see the uh, the columns are going to be device name, path, and status. And what they're actually looking at is the you know device dot name, device dot slot path, and device dot status here. Uh, and so we've got this part here uh, as far as the predicate. But let's go ahead and find out the extent. And so the extent is where we're going to be uh, looking for things. And so here I'm going to say from uh, backnet colon backnet device where status. And here I'm going to show fault first. Fault equals true. So again, this is going to be the whole. Uh, the whole query here that we have. And if I click OK, we can see now uh, all my uh, all my devices that are currently in fault. Now, uh, so far, you can see that I have 35 rows here, which is great. So I know that there are 35 devices. But now if I hit Control L, now if I want to find ones that are uh, down instead of fault, instead of status.fault, I do status.down here. And now we can actually see this. And so this kind of report is great because we can see what's happening here. But what if we actually wanted to know how many devices? Let's say we didn't care what device it was. We just want to know how many devices. And so for that one, when I get my control L back on, the path is actually going to be, or the, the words can, or the queries can be slightly different. So I'm going to keep all of this and I'm going to keep all of this. So all I'm going to change right here is just this, this name as, we don't need that anymore. And so what we're going to do is actually we're going to do count here, count status. 
So now this is going to take a count of the status. And then this is where we're going to find the status.down. And now if I do that, you see where it actually says 10 here. So we actually have one row and it's just counting the number. So if we did this uh, for fault instead, we should see 35 of them. And we do. Now, now that we have the, uh, the count that we need, well, how do we add this to a, uh, you know, to a graphic to display the count? Well, let's go to program here. And I already have already started a count graphic here. But let's go ahead and delete this just to show you how to do it again. So I'm going to go to my kit PX. And I'm going to drag in a bound label. Uh, and of course, I'll create a regular label, which is just a text block. And I'm going to say, uh, devices that are down and so devices that are down here I'm actually just going to take that ord that we uh, that ord that we had uh, the count one and we are going to uh, we're going to add it here and so I've already I've already got this here in a uh, you know just in a notepad so I don't have to type it out again but now we can actually see that we have this all here. But however, if we do this as is, you're actually going to find this is going to error out on you. It's actually going to say data table. Now, why when it gave us a count before? Well, it did that. However, remember, there were 35 rows or 10 rows. So it actually doesn't know what row to have here. So to get the value in the column, we need to actually add uh, an additional query uh, at the end. And so I'm going to go back here uh, and at the at the very end here, let me go ahead and uh, zoom in just a little bit more. And what we're going to add here is we're going to add a pipe. And from this pipe, we're going to say cell colon zero comma zero. So we're looking for the column number and the value of that column. And now if I click OK and zoom out again and click OK, we can now see. Now, of course, I actually had fault instead of down. So let's go ahead and change that from fault to down. And we can see that we have 10. So now we can duplicate this and say devices that are in fault or faulted and just change the query from status.down to status.fault and click OK and we can see it here. So this will show you how to uh, query uh, for down devices or faulted devices and if you wanted to do an entire table you could do that but if you just needed the number here it is. Uh, now, uh, as I said, this is going to be a two-parter. So the second one here is actually how to take this number and use it uh, in a station, which is actually what the student actually needed. The student needed to take this number, make it something tangible uh, uh, to pass to a supervisor. So the next episode uh, is going to be uh, just on that. So stay tuned uh, and have a great night.